Hey everybody, it's Mona 63 Sonotag Ultrasound Traveler. I wanted to bring you a quick video showing you all the things I did over um, Christmas break. So one, I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday season um, and Happy New Year. I hope we have a great crafting year. I'm looking for all your inspiration. Um, this past year, I was on assignment in Iowa and Washington State the whole year and I didn't craft at all and I really missed it. Um, and then once I got into the swing of it, boom, I was just ready to go again. This year I've decided that I'm going to take my stuff with me again. Um, it gets kind of lonely on the road sometimes. I do a lot of sightseeing and a lot of, you know, meet a lot of great people. Um, but then there's the downtime, and so, you know, I want to, uh, bring it with me this time. Um, so let me just show you some things that I, I've been working on. I showed you my, um, December daily, um, not finished um, last time. And I just want to show you that I did actually add pictures. I did all my pictures in black and white this year. I wanted to do it that way. I don't know why, but I just did. And I did some journaling, and it's, some stuff is tucked under. And um, just did a lot. Got the pictures in there. And, uh, you know, it's good to see them ended. There's not much to really talk about. We really had to calm. We did have 79 degrees Christmas, though. That was crazy. Um, but just, you know, put it in there, what it means to me, things like that. Um, but it's finished, and I'm so proud because it's the very first one I've ever, ever done. And then the second thing I did, um, I have to remember which way the camera's orienting. Um, before, I had a book Rolodex where you take the book and you bend the pages in and you make it like a Rolodex that you slide your cards in and stuff. Well, um, I decided to put just make a mini album type thing to put my cards in. Um, I'll show you the outside. I just did some punching with some um, Martin Stewart branches and butterflies and some scallops. And I put a little um, word there. Um, this is the spine. A for addresses because I have a lot of minis and so do that. I'm not going to show you the very front because I have people's addresses in there, um, but I did want to show you how it basically is. I have these plastic sleeves. I take a, um, I have these little cards that I made. Um, let's see, Julie is a um, provider. So, you know, she has her own store. So basically, um, let me show you real quick. I didn't think this out before I opened it, but basically anybody that's a personal friend or um, someone who I have their address from, I made a card out of just uh, file folders. This is a professional card. Um, this is Archiana's. Um, and I just stick it in the slide and it stays like that. Um, the business cards are in the back. I hope you can see that. So they're in the back and I just have about enough space I think for 30 of these um, white ones but I'm doubling and tripling them up and I have them in the front I just did not want to share anybody's address that might not want their address shared so that's why I can't show you the front but I just used um, this paper is from um, Michael's it's the 8x8 paper I think I have it around here somewhere hold on I do you know this paper that we all bought and loved and I've had it sitting around forever and I said I'm gonna use it you know it's been sitting there forever it's time to use it so I did so then um, since I decided I'm going to be taking my crafts with me I um, what is that called embossed a lot of card fronts I cut out some um, things to make shaker cards and I also cut out lots and lots of die cuts of words, phrases, little things like that. Because um, I'm going to take them with me um, for, the, for the three to six months that I will be on the road. So I did that. You never have enough, right? Um, besides, it's our stuff. We should use it. I made my very first shaker card. This is a thin one. I used a um, brown color paper from the butterfly stamp uh, pad that you, we have. It's those big 3 by 5s that you get at um, Michael's. I think. Let me see if I can show it to you. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not in the image. Ah, if I am, I'll be record, recording Blossom Butterflies. You know, it's the big, thick paper stacks that we use. I use that. Um, I am really starting to find these um, 
helpful. And again, God knows how long I've had that one. Um, so there's the shaker, and the stuff shakes inside. I'm learning that you can't put too much. Like I said, that's my first one. This is my second one. It's a little bit better. It's a mason jar. I did use foam for it. Um, I have a heart here on the outside, some baker's twine, a uh, green butterfly, and then a green butterfly inside. And the, I don't know if you can see the paper or not, but um, there's butterflies on here. That's why I picked that. So for my first two, I'm kind of happy. Uh, so that's pretty neat for me. And then when I was in Washington at the Dollar Tree there, I bought one of these um, craft paper um, journals that has the initial on it. Um, oops, sorry. I keep on forgetting you guys are opposite in orientation. Um, and what I did is I just got a, a strand of, these are from the Dollar Tree, of um, you know, enamel dot type pearls. I took washi tape of different colors. I, this, these little embellies right here, I've had those from since I was in Virginia, which is like 2013, I think. Um, and I just cut out a big doily, cut out the center, and then um, just put it on there. And, and it's just a regular notebook to journal in. Um, but I wanted to dress it up just a little bit, so that's what I did. And then I made this paper mini. Um, these are from the Authentic um, Mini Files papers. So that's how I did that. Um, that has a little clip that says happy. And then I used a brown, uh, brown, a wooden uh, embelly. Uh, I just bought those a couple weeks ago and I wanted to use them. These are Prima flowers, just some stickers, a um, little tag, and it's a little bit of lace. You know, I've noticed lately I haven't seen anybody use any lace um, in their crafting, but I still like it. Some baker's twine. I used the two hole punch and wrapped the twine in there. And the back is just a little um, dimensional and belly there. So that's from Bob Bunny. I know that for a fact. Um, so you open it up, and I just have tags and you know little things, little embellishments. I used a lot of stickers. I noticed that I'm not a big fan of stickers, but I wanted to use these. And this is ephemera here and ephemera there. But um, these are st this is a sticker, and I wanted to use them. I want to. We have it. We need to use it. So little tag here, another tag, um, little belly for Bow Bunny. The, this is from Michael. This is with all my heart. And then um, I just took a tag. This is a tag. And I folded it in half. And that's um, how I made this little tag. I love these colors of these papers, by the way. Um, here is a um, another little tag. You can put a, pa a picture behind it. And here, ephemera and stickers. And I wanted to use that. Here's an open one. I'm just take a paper right in there. And then here's the back. And um, this is one of those puffy uh, from um, Dollar Tree. So, yeah, I just wanted to use what I have. Um, this is this year I've proclaimed for myself it's time to scrap the stash. And then <clears throat> I made these cute, cute, cute. I absolutely love these. Um, mini albums. Now a couple of weeks ago I came on my, um, I made a video where I went to the um, Dollar Tree um, and I bought those calendars that are in the plastic can, um, holders and I said I was going to try to figure out how to do something with it and I did. I made little mini albums and this one is my travel one. Um, I just cut out some hellos, some you know different shapes. That's a mason jar back there tied with mason string. A um, little sticker, ephemera, another little sticker. And basically, it's just a mini album. And the, these papers are from um, Tuesday morning. It's like a four pack of paper called Traveler. And this has got some shimmer to it, so I like that. And basically, I used these three colors it was blue, yellow, and gray. And um, just some ephemera pieces. Made my own little tags down there. And that's it. And it's in a protective holder. And I don't have to worry about anything happening to the outside. Sorry about that. At the outside. And I just love it. So I made that one for the traveler. This one is for Valentine's Day. Even though I have no one special in my life. I hope someone comes around that day. Anyway, so it's just some... Uh, this is a Martha Stewart flower. Um, I cut this out. This was from my Valentine's paper thing package that I bought uh, at least two years ago. And I used the paper and all the stickers that were in the 
that little thing. I think I got like eight sheets of paper, a sticker sheet, and that's it. And um, some cards. There were some um, little cards to cut out. So I just, I love that. Um, just made a cute little mini using the two um, hole punch with Baker's twine to hold it together. And I just made it. I just think they're so cute. They're in a protective cover. I don't have to worry about them. I can print my pages off and just put it in there. And the last one is this one is Life's About the Little Moments. It's that little best clip, which I really like. I love those. I got those the uh, couple weeks ago at uh, Tuesday morning. Um, so it's just basically this paper. And I'm going to show you this paper pad. I showed it in my other video. Oh, I just knocked everything over hours and everything it happens anyway let's see if we're still lined up here I'm trying I didn't like the camera up so high so I'm trying to go lower this is um, a cane company pad and I just love these colors they are just really really pretty so I'm gonna be getting some use out of that and so here is the mini um, really pretty colors big enough for pictures, journaling, and again I used the uh, two hole system with the baker's twine and this is turned out beautiful. This right here, I found this in my stash, I hope, yep, I'm in a camera view. I found this in my stash, it's actually fabric and I got like four or five of those, not just celebrated, they say other things too. Um, and then the end. So um, I've really, really been crafting I'm going to do some more. I'm going to try. I have never, I have the stuff, but I have never done any embossing. So I'm going to do that. And, um, you know, just go into my box. I have a box over on the side here that has things I want to alter. And I'm going to be altering this week. I'm, I'm going to be crafting. I'm going to color. I haven't done that in a really long time. Um, I might even put some things together to sell um, on YouTube. Um, just a few kits. Um, because I have so much stuff and there's if there's new a uh, new person out there I really can't afford you know all the good stuff we have I mean I'm gonna throw dies in there paper pads and just stuff because we have so much and I just know that I can't use it all but hopefully someone else can use some of it um, who knows I might even give some away I don't know we'll see but anyway so that's where I've been crafting and I hope that's my little mark where I never keep everything on the thing. So, I, like again, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I hope in your life, in your love, in your career, whatever it is that you um, find important, that it is successful and happy in all ways. And um, let's go 2017. <laughs> Can't be any worse than 2016, right? Anyway, so happy new year and happy crafting. And I hope all of you will craft your stash because we got so much I know we do a lot of buying videos let's show some things that we make I think that's really important too so that's the only real goal I have for this year is to craft more and more and uh, show what we do all right thanks for all the inspiration everybody talk to you soon